The 10th race field from Mohawk. Fourth division of the Champlain Grand Circuit Stakes. Two-year-old open pace. And they're off. From the far outside, Assault and Mattery is going to mix up early with Rich S. Hanover. Tight to the inside came Cam Taza. Astreos to follow up in fourth. Southview Pegasus wants in from fifth. Moving third from last was high on emotion. Then Ombro Teamster and trailing Stonebridge Storm up into the first turn as Assault and Mattery is off stride on the outside and taken out of harm's way. Rich S. Hanover is in command early. Cam Taza tracks along in second. Astreos inherited third. Southview Pegasus is fourth. Ombro Bro Teamster parked out in fifth and high on emotion in Stonebridge Storm and Assault and Mattery off stride is distanced. The quarter was 28 and 1. Rich S. Hanover, the leader at 3 8 completion, giving the trip though to Kem Tassa. Coming first over, but out a long, long way has been Armbro Teamster. Astreos, no option but to follow up in fourth. Here comes High on Emotion to seize the moment. Second over from fifth. Southview Pegasus is sixth. Stonebridge Storm, seventh and spotting third over. And the distance trailer is Assault and Mattery. 57 and 4 the half. Rich S. Hanover shutting it down 29 and 3. In the second quarter, Rich S. Hanover into the far turn. Coming first over, but parked out is Ombro Teamster. That's been Kem Tazda taking the pocket tour. High on emotion has to consider going three deep, and John Campbell takes him to the trio of lanes wide. Now Astreos looks trapped in from fifth. Stormbridge Storm is sixth, Southview Pegasus seventh in distance. Out of contention early was Assault and Mattery. Rich as Hanover at head stretch, 126 and 1, 28 and 2 in the third. High on emotion comes out from second over, and Kemp has a, had a pocket journey, looks to play giant killer. Rich as Hanover is under sustained urging. Then Kemtaza, Astreos with some pace along the inside. It's still Rich S. Hanover. Astreos coming to him, is going to fly late. Here comes Astreos. He's got him. Astreos got it at 4-1 to one on the wire over Rich S. Hanover and Kemtaza. Astreos wins the Champlain Stakes. Put on your head. That's not big enough. No. <laughs> not big enough. You got you. I thought, you know, if he did get a trip, I thought maybe I could beat Rich's Hanover. He proved he was, uh, you know, he could be beaten last week. Um, things worked out. I wasn't going to overdrive him tonight, but things worked out for him, and uh, he raced well. Your dad must be pretty ecstatic. He always thought that this colt would be pretty good. Can you tell us uh, a little bit about what he went through over the winter training this colt? He went through a lot of uh, <laughs> headaches with this colt. He, uh, he's terrified of tractors, and he's really hard to steer sometimes. He has a mind of his own on the racetrack, but uh, he's got a lot better. My dad's done a super job with him. Uh, hopefully we're going to hear Astreos' name a lot more in the future. Yeah, what's on? Can we get that again? Sure. They can get somebody to break. I don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> they know where I am. And if they don't, too bad.
Uh, Estrellas was a tough colt to uh, train down. He was really hard to steer at times. He, uh, he hates tractors. He, you know, he'll dive sideways when a tractor's coming. And uh, uh, we had a lot of battles with head poles, you know, trying to get the right uh, setup on him. But it's been a lot of changes, and uh, I think we finally got him figured it out. And I hope we're going to hear the name Estrellas in the future. Yeah, he looks like uh, the kind of horse that uh, since uh, you've raced him off close to the front end and out of a hole, that he can be fairly versatile. He's shown that he's versatile, I think. Uh, last week we were at the, in the Metro, he fell into a bad trip. Uh, things looked good coming out of the first turn, but they deteriorated quickly. And uh, this week he got a real easy trip, and uh, when he got loose in the lane, he exploded. What's on uh, schedule for him next? I'm not sure exactly what route they're going to take, but I know the Breeders' Crown is definitely something they're considering in the future. That's good. Thanks very much, Chris. Okay. <laughs>